Hi there. You've probably heard of Wi-Fi calling, but what exactly is Wi-Fi calling and why would you want to use it? In a nutshell, Wi-Fi calling is calling over a Wi-Fi network through the internet instead of over a regular cellular network. And this can come in super handy in several situations, like when you visit Aunt Carol's ranch on the outskirts of a cellular network, or when you work in a building or in the basement and you have touchy cell service. Now, this is assuming that both Aunt Carol and the basement have Wi-Fi coverage and it's of adequate speed. Before I get too far, I want to clear up what I'm referring to as Wi-Fi calling. There are a lot of apps available like Skype, Viber, WhatsApp, or Facebook Messenger that allow you to place calls or send messages over Wi-Fi. Now, I'm excluding these because you have to use a separate app to send the messages or place the call and it won't hand off to a cellular network if you walk outside of the Wi-Fi range. What I'm referring to as Wi-Fi calling is built into the phone natively, so you don't have to do anything separate or different than you would to normally place a call. To get Wi-Fi calling to work for you, you'll need to be on a cellular carrier that supports Wi-Fi calling, and you'll need to be using a device that works with Wi-Fi calling. Currently, all major carriers, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, work with Wi-Fi calling, as well as many small carriers like Republic Wireless. If you don't see your carrier listed here, check with them to see if they support Wi-Fi calling. You'll also need to be using a device that supports Wi-Fi calling. Many smartphones today will work with Wi-Fi calling, but again, it just depends on the carrier. For example, a quick scan through Verizon's website shows all of these options. Check with your carrier to see which devices are available for you. Best of all, Wi-Fi calling is free. You don't have to add any special packages or be on a special plan to make it work. However, it can use your minutes whether you're calling over Wi-Fi or using cellular network. It just depends on the carrier. So check with your carrier to see how they handle this. When it comes to Wi-Fi calling, you want a strong, reliable connection to your Wi-Fi network, and preferably a fast one. Wi-Fi calling doesn't use a ton of data, about one megabyte per minute for calls, and about six to eight megabytes per minute for video calls. But if you have poor connection or slow Wi-Fi, then your call quality will suffer and you may even drop the call. Now that you know what Wi-Fi calling is, let's talk about how to use it. All you have to do is turn it on. It's super easy. On an iPhone, simply go to settings, phone, and turn on Wi-Fi calling. On an Android device, tap on Settings and then Advanced Calling. Once you've turned it on, that's all you have to do. Just place calls like normal. Whenever you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, it will automatically switch over and use Wi-Fi calling. Then when you leave that network, it will switch over and use cellular calling, even if you're on a call at the time. Your phone will only use Wi-Fi calling if it connects to a network it recognizes or can log into. So, for example, you'll need to go to your favorite coffee shop and log into its Wi-Fi. Once it recognizes that, every time you go there, it will switch over to Wi-Fi calling. Another perk of using Wi-Fi calling is HD voice, which is basically really good call quality. Most carriers support HD voice, and some, like Verizon, actually require you to turn HD voice on before you use Wi-Fi calling. With HD voice, the calls you make will be some of the best you've ever made, that is assuming that the other party has HD voice turned on as well. So there's the basics of Wi-Fi calling, but there's even more you can do to make sure you have better call quality when you're at home. This is where your router comes in. So let's talk about that for a second. Your router takes all the data coming in from the internet and then funnels it out to all the devices connected. So everything like Netflix, YouTube, online gaming, and yes, your Wi-Fi calls have to fight for that same amount of data. So if a behemoth like Netflix is sucking up all the data, your poor little Wi-Fi call is going to suffer and you're going to have poor call quality and may even drop the call. Fortunately, there's an easy fix. You can tweak the QoS or quality of service settings on your router. This is going to differ from router to router, but the basic idea is the same. Basically what you're doing is setting the priority levels of how your router dispenses the data. So you'll want to put your Wi-Fi calls at the top 
and then let Netflix and Call of Duty fall below that. This will, however, affect the network speeds or quality going to those devices, so you'll want to tweak it to your specific needs. If you're not the type of person who likes to customize or tweak settings, there's still hope. Many routers come with a smart QoS, which will automatically take your devices, categorize them, and then prioritize them accordingly. Usually it breaks down something like this. It'll do voice, video, everything that's not voice and video, and then background, like print jobs or downloads. So you can do some research and find a router that has a smart QoS that's gonna work for you. Carriers also will carry routers that are specifically tweaked for their specific Wi-Fi calling. So calling your carrier isn't a bad idea either. So that's Wi-Fi calling. If you wanna know more, check out our website. We've got a link in the description where we go into tons more detail about Wi-Fi calling. If you've got any questions, please leave those in the comments below. And please subscribe to our channel. We release videos like this every week. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.